At a time when the COVID vaccine is giving us hope, we've been hearing news about new strains of the virus. So will that put out the light that we can now see at the end of the tunnel to the end of this pandemic? Medical reporter Meg Ferris has the details about what this all means to you and me. Here in New Orleans laboratories, scientists like Tulane's Dr. Bob Gary are closely following coronavirus mutations or the way it's changing and evolving around the world. And right now, there are three main variants or new strains. The distinction between these and others that have come before them are that we are seeing several different mutations come in at once. You've heard of the variant from the UK, that's here in Louisiana. Dr. Gary says that one is the least of our concerns. It's more contagious than the original, but does not appear to cause worse illness, and the vaccine should still work. Doctors are more concerned about the new strains from South Africa and Brazil, not yet in the U.S. What we're worried is we might see more reinfections um, that are rare, but you know they could happen a little more often with this new variant, and we could see some drop off in the efficacy of the vaccines. So those new variants can spread better among people and more easily infect your cells. And those protective antibodies from getting sick or being vaccinated might not work as well. But he says it's still very important to get the vaccine. We don't expect the efficacy of the vaccines to uh, be totally wiped out, but uh, it, they could take a little bit of a hit and not be quite as effective. So it might not be 95% effective, but you'd still have some protection against getting sick with major complications. Think of the flu vaccine. That's only 15 to 60% effective each year, but that still can prevent catastrophic illness if you catch it. And Dr. Gary says it will be much faster to tweak and approve the current coronavirus vaccines. It will be fairly easy to change them. Uh, just alter that genetic code a little bit these mRNA vaccines are, are particularly easy to do that and uh, then make those vaccines work a little bit better against the new variants. So Dr. Gary says don't be overly concerned about the new strains. Protect yourself as always with masks, physical distance and by getting the current vaccine. We'll be able to adapt quickly. I mean, this virus is coming at us. It's attacking us, but we can attack back too. Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. Dr. Gary says the vaccines that should be coming from other pharmaceutical companies can also be adjusted to new strains, just like the vaccines that are already out on the market.